Wednesday, dude. I can't believe it's the middle of the goddamn week. Like, it's just ridiculous. It feels like next Friday. Who's yeah. that? Bummed. Who's what? See, eating work's really been getting to me lately. Not the stress of the actual work necessarily, but just some of the people. I'm not calling anyone out, but it's Autumn. Now you might not know this, but she's actually super mean. She makes fun of my pre-existing conditions almost every morning and says, I shouldn't be paying taxes for your genetic mutation, you disgusting monster. Needless to say, I wasn't really interested in coming into work. Do you wanna just say fuck it today? You know what I mean? Like we've been planning? Kib's not here. Where's Kib? He's in Miami. I forgot, Kib was in Miami on a business trip. Now, he didn't use those words exactly because he can't type too well. So the message just read, leave tomorrow for business mommy. But I knew what he meant. I hoped he got some important networking done while he was there. Told him I was going on a business trip. I'm gonna party, but uh, if the girls try to get me, I'll probably fight him. We gotta have fun today. Let's just go have oh fun. Oh my God, wait, look at that. What the fuck? What the fuck? They're coming. We have to go. I was on the fence about playing hooky today, but after seeing the militia of reflector men approaching us, I knew we needed a break. And where better to experience true relaxation than a massage parlor for boys? Stop picking it. I'm not picking it, I'm itching around it. It looks like it's infected. It's a spider bite, dude. I know it's a spider bite, James. I let the thing bite me on purpose so I could become Batman. And then we started talking more about spiders, or at least James did. So there's a spider I saw on the wall. I pulled out the airsoft gun, shot the spider, Removed one of its legs. The leg stayed stuck to the wall. The spider fell. Weeks later, I wake up. I open my eyes. The spider's repelling from the ceiling, and I look closely at seven legs. Yeah, this is infected for sure. Can you tell my story? Yep, I heard the whole thing. I was ready to relax with my boy and a random person rubbing my back, but I was curious what Kib was up to. Hey guys, I got this sweet gun in Miami. Lots of ammo. Mine, yeah. Mine's broken now. Oh, he's playing with bubbles. Classic kid. If I'm gonna step out, you just need to undress the whatever you want to be to massage any request. Anything. Can we do it through the shirt? Oh, it's hard, but I can. Or we can just do it in your bag. No, I have I have a staph infection. I'm gonna get my gloves now. Yes. Should I get a glove? You should get probably double up on the gloves okay. for sure. You're not the massage. What? Uh, no. <laughs> Kib's not here. Not here. So I'm just going okay, to actually, we cannot do any touching. Uh, why do you want me to do that? If you would just be able to uh, air, kind of massage the air around me, I'll feel the vibrations. And if you could just tell me exactly what you're doing, like oh, here? too close, too close, too close. Right there's good. He's got like a thing with being touched. A little bit on the spine would be great. On the spine. I felt a light poke there if we could avoid that. I couldn't believe how much of an amateur this masseuse was. I told her to give me a levitation massage because I was looking out for her. If she even applied one cubic inch of pressure to my T12 vertebrae, my staff would surely pop and make a whole mess. Oh, what's going on there? Is that James or is that? Just playing around. Um, not touched it again. Okay. I did? Bit of a bummer. Oh, sorry. She's got a good inch away from you, man. She's not touching it at all. Okay, still a little bit, still a bit close. Uh, if we can raise the arms up like another six inches, that'd be amazing. Ah, perfect. That is nice. I'm just so bummed my friends aren't here with me. I'm here, what are you talking about? Oh yeah, <laughs> never mind. I'm not bummed anymore. <laughs> Screw up. Wow, that was about to be really sweet. But I guess if Kib has Sammy Joe, then he doesn't need us. I mean, that's cool, I guess. I have Alyssa and my dogs and James. We don't really need Kib to have fun. Plus, this massage was really starting to relax me. I believe I was starting to get a bit of a nub. Can you do uh, noises of the ocean? I don't know if you can do that. Okay, maybe like a, a do a goat or something, like a goat. Yeah, sure. Meh. You keep doing it. Ocean or goat? Uh, goat trapped underneath the water of the uh, Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Goat trapped underneath the uh, deep sea. <laughs> oh, this, is, this is amazing. She's not even touching you, dude. Do you know any other tricks of the trade? Anything else that can be done? She knew nothing else that could be done. And in that moment, I was very proud of my wife. I had thought to myself, wow, how I'm, how I'm so proud of her. What is this event for anyways? For me. Oh, right. 
very proud of it. It's for everyone with nice hair like that. So let me get this straight. Kip flew out to Miami on his own dime, which was easily $700 for a round trip ticket, just to go to an event for hair. I mean, he knows his priorities, I guess. He has a bad spider bite on his arm. Oh yeah, check this Is out. Is there any way to like... Uh, you should go to the doctor. That's what I said Oh too. my God, I said again. That too. Are you serious? You should go to the doctor. There's nothing you can do here, you can't... No, I'm not a doctor. Just to mm -hmm. put a spell on it or something? Mm -hmm. This isn't working. Okay. It didn't work. I was counting on this massage witch to extract the deadly brown recluse venom from my arm, but her magic just must suck. Because I felt the venom flow closer to my heart, and I knew I would be dead by midnight. I'm not entirely sure why we're at a Barney convention, but it's pretty cool. There's a, there's a purple carpet over there. You knew we were coming it's to a Barney convention. Off. Why didn't you wear purple? Well, I'm kind of, you know that I'm colorblind, though. Oh, no. I thought oh, I told you that on our first date. Let's yeah, go plan okay. the carpet. Even though Kib doesn't have a single clue what's going on or that me and James miss him, I'm just glad he's happy and having a good time. Now that my massage was done, James had the idea to go to the beach, which I eagerly agreed to. Yeah, I don't have a towel. I have this rug, though. It's, it's actually really comfy on the other side. Oh, cool. What's the blood, though? I Is spilled... I spilled... I spilled blood in my trunk. It was fake blood. Oh wow, congrats James. You got your first period. Ah, this is relaxing. Yeah, this is actually really nice. I can't believe we get to do this during our work day. Does Bruce know? No. Feeling kind of famous at the Barney convention. Not entirely sure, you know, what goes on at these kind of events, but I like it. Well, Kib, I, like you, was also in a state of confusion. Not because of the Barney convention, but because of the question James was about to ask me. Did you ever used to kiss your friends when you were like a kid? No, I don't think so. Why? Maybe it was I like one of those things I I where, you know, you're with your friends, and you're like, kiss like girls do. I don't know if girls really do that that often either. I know they show each other their boobs. I'm doing the two, or the twin, or the two towers right now. And, uh, just kidding, I've made titties. I'm just saying, it feels very innocent today. I don't know what it is about it. It feels like, uh, my childlike innocence that They're I haven't felt. I'm making love behind you. Fuck, dude. I wonder what Kib and Sammy Joe are doing. Probably something like that. I think we do a pretty good job of just, when you get transported to another, uh, another city, another place in the world, adapting and just like hanging out and being with being at the Barney convention. You know what I'm saying? Yes sir, I do. So like, you can kick people out or, or whatever, right? And that is when Kib got kicked out of the Barney convention. Steve. Hey, don't Dude, we fell asleep, man. Hey, cool, don't wake me the fuck up. Hold on, I'm about to nut in my dream. Oh my god, dude, you're so burnt. Wake up. Oh. Okay. Okay. I don't really feel like I'm that sunburnt. Am I? Oh no, no! Ready for a spooky story? Yeah. Seeing as we're finally in Miami. Yeah. And I can finger myself out. Is that the scary part? The boy runs into a dark room. And what does he see? Three dogs eating each other's asses. Human centipede. Bang. But are they three in a it row or matter. three in a circle? It doesn't matter. You know what? Good night, world. Good night. <laughs> Cool. Back to the office. God damn it. Kip. Oh. Uh. Tori!